Welcome to Chapter 1, Part 2 of the Digital Marketing Course from Eduonics. My name is Kristen. I'm your instructor. In this chapter, we'll be discussing all the tenets of SEO, and in this particular section, we'll be discussing on-site SEO, off-site SEO, and how to build those quality links that we mentioned in the last section. So let's get started. What are on-page factors? These include the content of the page, which is what makes it worthy of search engine result position. It's what the user came to see and is really extremely important to the search engines. As such, it's important to create good content. So what counts as good content? From an SEO perspective, all good content has two attributes. Good content must supply a demand and must be linkable. Good content that supplies a demand. So just like the world's markets, information is affected by supply and demand. The best content is that, that which, which does the best job of supplying the largest demand. It might take the form of a nerdy joke that, or a nerdy comic that is supplying jokes to a large group of techno guys. Or it might be a Wikipedia article that explains the world to the world the definition of Web 2.0. It can be a video. It can be an image, a sound, or text, but it can it must supply demand in order to be considered good content. So good content is also linkable. From an SEO perspective, there is no difference between the best and worst content on the internet if you cannot link to it. If people can't link to it, search engines will be very unlikely to rank it, and as a result, the content won't drive traffic to the given website. Unfortunately, this happens a lot more often than one might think. A few examples of this include Ajax-powered image slideshows, content only accessible after login, a con and content that can't be reproduced or shared. Content that doesn't supply a demand or is not linkable is bad in the eyes of the search engines and most likely some people too, so keep that in mind. Next up, title tag. Title tags are the second most important on-page factor for SEO after content. And what those are are the little tags that appear on the top, like in your browser tab, and they're 60 to 70 characters long, and they must contain your keyword, they must contain your branding. So yeah, you often have to get pretty creative to fit all of that in there, but it's not too hard to do and you get a lot of payoff from doing so. Next up, URL. Along with smart internal linking, SEO should make sure that the content here are, the category hierarchy of the given website is reflected in your URLs. So the following, is an example of good example of URL structure. That's dmoz, D-M-O-Z dot org slash games slash video underscore games slash history. So what this does is this URL clearly shows the hierarchy of the information on the page. History as it pertains to video games in the context of games in general. This information is used to determine the relevancy of a given web page by the search engines. Due to the hierarchy, the engines can deduce that the page likely doesn't pertain to history in general, but rather to that of the history of video games. This makes it an ideal candidate for search results related to video game history. All of this information can be speculated on without even needing to process the content on, of, on the page. The following is a bad example of URL structure. That's imdb.com slash title slash tt04684569. So unlike the first example, this URL does not reflect the information hierarchy of the website. Search engines can see that the given page relates to the titles and is on the IMDB domain, but cannot determine what the page is about. So the reference to TT04684569 does not directly infer anything that somebody surfing the web is likely to search for. So what this means is that the information provided by the URL is of very little value to search engines. URL structure is very important because it helps search engines to understand relative importance and helps add a relevancy metric to the given page. It's also helpful from an anchor text perspective because people are more likely to link with the relevant word or phrase if the keywords are included in the URL. So let's discuss SEO best practices. Content pages are the meat of websites and are almost always the reason that visitors come to the site. Ideal content pages should be very, very specific to a given topic, usually a product or an object, and be hyper-relevant. 
The purpose of the given web page should be directly stated in all the following areas, your title tag, your URL, your content of page, and your image alt text. And what that means is um, search engines cannot pick up on images quite yet. The technology is being developed, but we're not there yet. So image alt tags give you an opportunity to describe your image in words. So the search engines can categorize it and count it. It's an SEO real estate that is often ignored. So an ideally optimized web page should do all of the following. Be hyper relevant to a specific topic, usually a product or a single object. You need to include the subject in your title tag, the subject in your URL, include subject in image alt text, specify several times throughout the page what exactly you're talking about. And by subject, I mean your keywords. Provide unique content about a given subject. Link back to its category page. Link back to its subcategory page if that applies. And link back to its home page, normally accomplished with an image link showing the website link logo in the top left of a page. So next time you're surfing, you can try that out. Many business owners aspiring for high search engine placement kind of fail to realize that most important aspects of optimizing their website actually does not take place on the site. I know this kind of sounds counterproductive, but with so many SEO companies trying to manipulate search engine results in the past, Google and other major search engines now determine the value and importance of sites based on the links that they receive from other sites. That being said, off-site search engine optimization, or SEO, is accomplished from sources other than your site. This is achieved off the pages of your website to increase search engine performance for target keywords that are related to your on-page content and the keywords that exist in off-site direct links. High search engine rankings are not achieved without some form of quality link building. Link building is an off-site search engine optimization strategy that your SEO specialist should implement for your website. If you wish to achieve long-term ranking search engine results, the importance of off-site optimization cannot be stressed enough. Your site's ranking is highly based on SEO authority, and that authority is not established simply by your website content alone. That's very important for you to understand. It involves a combination of inbound links, outbound links, and how many of those sites linking to you also have established SEO authority. So let's discuss a bit how to apply off-site SEO. Modern day offsite SEO requires socialization and syndication of your site by content and links, by providing news and information, media, and RSS feeds with your site data. As you develop more content for your site's site, deeper links will evolve from blogs, news, and media companies, which will cause your authority to grow. Social media is probably the most influential way to gain high quality backlinks from authority websites. These bookmarking sites are like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and many more. Offsite SEO works best if someone else is giving you the credit, so it's highly recommended that you encourage the visitors to your site to use the social bookmarks throughout your site. This is how you're going to build deep inbound links for your keyword-rich page content. Effective offsite SEO requires balanced link portfolio because the sources of information and references matter to the search engines. For example, a link that contains your main keyword from similar content theme site and a keyword used out of context from an unrelated site have very different degrees of relevance. Your overall as success is driven by a wide range of off-site SEO practices that include but are not limited to internet marketing, peer-to-peer -peer promotion, advertising, link building, and social media. Search engine optimization and achieving high rankings all comes down to one thing, and that's relevance. While search engine placement will definitely lead to an increase in traffic, visitors to your website, that traffic, no value to you if you do not provide the content that gives visitors what they want. It goes without saying, content's king still with the search engines, and it's quality content that meets the needs of the visitors that come to your site that will make you reign supreme. This is where the basic principle of relevance comes from. Relevance is why your site will be elevated in search engine results. When proper off-site SEO is applied to professionally developed websites, your site increases in relevance and will grow its authority as well. So let's discuss link building refers to the process of getting external pages to link to a page on your website. It's one of the many tactics used in a search engine optimization strategy, and building links is kind of a difficult time-consuming process, as not all links are created equal. 
A link from an authoritative website like the Wall Street Journal will make a greater impact on your search engine results than a link from a newly built website, and high quality links are really hard to come by. So let's discuss a little bit on how to build links. To implement effective link building, it's important to understand why link building is important and how it works. So link building, why is it important exactly? Link building is important because it's a major factor in how Google ranks web pages. Google notes on their site that in general, webmasters can improve the rank of their sites by increasing the number of high quality sites that link to their pages. Imagine that we own a site promoting wind turbine equipment that we sell. We're competing with another wind turbine equipment manufacturer. One of the ranking factors Google will look at in determining how to rank our respective web pages is link popularity. The most important concept to understand that as Google says, you're more likely to have your content rank higher for keywords that you're targeting if you can get external websites to link to you. So let's let's talk about how to get other sites linking to you from here. There are a number of link building strategies used to get external websites to link to yours. First, content creation and promotion. Create compelling content that people will want to reference and link to and tell people about it. Next is submissions. You can submit your news to press release and press releases, submit your sites to directories, etc. Reviews and mentions. Put your product, service, or site in front of influential bloggers. And then links from friends and partners. Get people you know and people you work with to link to your site. So there are several other resources that will offer you more extensive and granular lists of ways to get links, but these, there are two main issues with all these tips and tricks for developing inbound links to your website. One, building quality links takes a lot of time. Building out quality content and developing links from parties who may be interested takes a very long time. It also requires certain resources like copywriters, man hours to dedicate to the promotion of your goods or services, etc. And then they're dependent on external forces. You're relying upon sites you don't control. This means you're unable to have a say in the quality of the linking page. The words that they use to talk about your product or specific pages on your site that they link to. So the best way to build links for free is um, there's a few key factors to consider. One is anchor text. One of the most important things search engines take into account in ranking a page is the actual text a linking page uses to talk about your content. And this is called anchor text. So if somebody links to our Good Guys Wind Turbine Parts site with the text Wind Turbine Parts, that will help us rank highly for that keyword phrase. Whereas if they had simply used text like Good Guys LLC to link to our site, we wouldn't enjoy the same ranking advantage for the phrase Wind Turbine Parts. Quality of the linking page is another factor. Um, it's the quality of the page that's sending the link. Search engines allow links from high quality trusted pages to count more in boosting rankings than questionable pages and sites. And then the page the link is aimed at. Many times when people talk about your site, they'll link to the home page. Makes it difficult for individual pages to achieve high rankings because it's so difficult for them to generate their own link equity. So these are all elements that we can't control in attempting to get other sites to link to us. We can, however, control all these elements in linking to our own pages from our own content. So what we can control is determine what anchor text to use, decide which page to point that anchor text at, Ensure that the quality and content of the linking page is high since it's our page. Building external links to your site is important, but in focusing more of your efforts on the optimization of these internal links, you can build quality inbound links with rich anchor text to the proper pages, which will provide you with an unparalleled ranking boost for free. Internal linking link building tools and tips, uh, let's go over a few of these. So how do you go about building these great internal links? Well, you can set up a system for in interlinking your pages with just a few easy steps. Keyword research for link building is the first. You need to utilize a keyword research tool like Keyword Planner over in AdWords or another one of the free tools to have numerous keywords suggested to you that are both relevant and popular. Then you need to assign your keywords to content. Next, you have to group your keywords strategically, creating a search-friendly information architecture. Finally, link pages using targeted anchor text. The final step is to apply your keyword research to intelligent interlinking, and you do this by linking content to the keywords you've discovered. So the execution of the third bullet is key. You need to be sure that you're linking to the right pages with the right anchor text, or it's not gonna do you any good. And so with a little bit of planning and a little bit of research, you're gonna be well on your way to creating a quality website that gets decent traffic from the search engines. 
So let's talk a minute real quick before we wrap up on how to create an internal SEO link building wireframe. So to do this, you simply need to map the keywords you'd like to target to the most logical pages. So let's say we have three pages to choose from. These would be goodguyswindturbineparts.com slash windturbineparts. Next is goodguyswindturbineparts.com slash turbine rotors. Goodguyswindturbineparts.com slash windturbine shaft. Since the turbine since the turbine rotors page definitely seems to be the best fit for our wind turbine rotors keyword, we'll line that keyword with that page. And it's as easy as that. Just plan out everything, track everything, and you'll be fine. So that's it for Chapter 1, Section 2. Next up in Section 3, we'll be discussing penalties and how to recover from them. Thank you so much for listening.